I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> so the Buffalo Bills destroy, dismantle the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't even know why I picked the Bucs, <laughs> but you know, man. Potentially, maybe an upset. I thought the Bucs would maybe compete. Looking at the trenches, the interior matchups. But it's clear to see, it's evident who the Beer Bills are and who the Bucks are, baby. You don't get the, well, I don't really watch all the games. Every Sunday, you know, I'm really zoned in on the Vikings, not flipping channels. Now, if the Vikings play early, then boom, you catch the games late. They play late, boom, catch the games, the earlier games, et cetera, et cetera. You know how I go. But I'm not really flipping through channels to watch different teams. I catch the highlights, look at the stats, right? But at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't know why I picked the Bucks. The Bucks are who they are, right? <laughs> Heavy. They proven that. Just watching that game or some of it, I'm like, how did they even beat the Vikings? How did the Vikings lose to those boys? I think now the Vikings would beat them by two touchdowns if they played. But the Bucks are just not a great team. Heavy. Baker Mayfield is just not, not it, right? Heavy. Just the bottom line. He had a lot of bad uh, passes. He was under pressure a lot. It was a total domination. Even if you look at the stats, the turnovers, don't be deceived by the numbers. That was a one-sided, lopsided game, baby. And the Bucs are just not it. You know, Baker Mayfield, he's a okay quarterback. Can he get them to the next level? No, no. Even their trenches, their secondary, they're just looking like a really a beat up team, maybe a washed up team. No disrespect. Definitely not the same with Tom Brady out of the building. So I know they I know they expected Baker Mayfield to come in, sling the ball around. You know he's aggressive. He can run. He has character. You know swag about himself. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you can be beguiled if you try to judge a team whether they're good or not, first week, second week, third week. You really don't know the true identity of a team, who's good, who's not, who's elite, right? Who can compete, right? Who's a playoff team until week six, week seven. Then you can kind of start making a separation. But it is clear once again, the Bucks are not a playoff team, period. Might not even be a over at 500 type team, dog. They got dominated on every level, heavy, right? And sometimes, like life in general, right? You got to look in the mirror, <laughs> fix yourself, correct yourself, say, hey, you need to fix this. You need to fix that. This is reality. This is what it's not, right? Look in the mirror. Own everything, right? Heavy. It's just life in general. But the Bucks, <laughs> it's time for them to do that, baby. Bottom line. And realize that they don't have a franchise quarterback, an elite quarterback, that can get them to the next level. Hands down, man down. And their team overall is not as good as people may think or they may think. You know, good coach, Todd Bowles, right? But like I say, great coaching, cool. Great players, cool. But if it doesn't match, if you don't have both, that's a tough, a tough situation, right? Got to have some, some level of talent in certain areas, starting with your quarterback position. That's where it matters the most. That's what teams build around, correct? Just what it is. But Baker Mayfield, starting with him, he is not in. Let's get to the Bills, man. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills, big game. Some say a must win, an important game. Can they bounce back? Solid performance, great performance, domination. Josh Allen got his mojo back, got into his groove. Saw him running the football, right? Throwing the ball, throwing that Tatum. Defense performing well. So the Bills, they, they won a game that they should have won. Heavy. Put on a show Thursday night. Now, do I think they're a Super Bowl contending team? I don't know, man. You compare them to the Chiefs and, you know, other teams in the AFC, it depends on how they play week in, week out. The performance they put on versus the Patriots, hostile environment, could be a playoff environment. 
Of course, the Patriots aren't making the playoffs, but just that energy, that, that you know, that volatile crowd, the rivalry. Close game, tight game. It's cool to blow a team out, but in the playoffs, when it gets tight, grimy, tough, close battles, can you win? Yeah, the Buffalo Bills, we've seen them blow teams out, but they got beat by a Patriots team man, in a tough, gritty game, right? Those are the games you must win. Those are the impressive wins because when playoff time comes, woo, it's real deal. Man. Every game majority is going to be tight, aggressive, physical, a battle. So do I believe in the Bills as far as a Super Bowl winning team? No. Are they a playoff team? Yeah. But with the Bills, it's about how they, what they bring to the table, how they perform week in, week out, baby. Do they have elite players? No doubt. One of the best quarterbacks in the game. Josh Allen is a beast. But they still have improvements to make. They beat up on a bad Bucks team. That was clear. The Bucks are a bad team, baby. Heavy. In shambles right now, man. <laughs> also, side note, the Bucks losing. Now the Vikings are in that number seven spot. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying, no, have a kumbaya, kumbaya. The Vikings need to keep winning, keep progressing. You know, you're going to make the playoffs. Get a higher seed, baby. Get a higher seed. But they are definitely in the mix, no doubt. Let's get into some of the stats of the game real quick, man. <laughs> Bucks, third down efficiency. They were 4 of 15, piss poor. Bill, 7 of 13. They won that battle. Rushing yards, Bills, 115, ran that rock, took that tater. The Bucks only 78 yards rushing, not enough, won't get it done versus a team like the Bills. Bills passing yards, 312, the Bucks, 224. But, like I say, don't get deceived, bamboozled by the stats. Baker Mayfield did not play a great game at all, point blank, period. Had a lot of bad throws. He was getting hit in the mouth, had some bad O-line play heavy. Got all played. They are who they are. Total yards. Bills, 427. Bucks, 302. Sacks. Josh Allen sacked three times. Baker Mayfield was sacked twice. Penalties. Bills, nine. Bucks, 11. Too many penalties, man, for the Bucks, especially. Fumbles. Bills, zero. The Bucks, two. Let's compare the quarterback play, man. <laughs> Josh Allen, 31 of 40, 324 yards, two touchdowns. One rushing touchdown, only one INT, had a QBR of 106.7, passer rating, phenomenal. So we've seen which out quarterback play, outplayed who. Josh Allen is that guy's a different animal, a different breed. If he can bring that level of energy every week, that same game, play that performance, the Bills are a great team. I'll say they're a good team. They're a good team. Can't say they're great yet. They got more to prove, though. You've been saying that about the Bills for years. In every playoff run, they lose, get beat, heavy. Baker Mayfield, 25 of 42. That's all I'm going to say. He had a bad game. Once again, he is not it. I think the Bucks realize that. If not, they have a problem. But it is what it is, man. <laughs> the Buffalo Bills slaughtered the uh, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, dog. So let's get to it, man. That's my thoughts, my opinions on the game. Week 8 is here. Let's get to it, baby. You know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. Fire them comments up. Feedback is much appreciated. Let me know how you felt about the game, this video as well. Big skull here, man. Skull Vikes forever. Heavy.